Alright, so this is a review on the Logitech G Pro RX Superlight. I've um, had this mouse for about three months now. Really good. It actually is my main. Um, it actually is far better than my second main, which is Flightboot Ultimate. So, yeah, I actually like this one much more because of its comfortable shape, its nice, fast responding clicks. And just pretty much the way and like everything how it works perfectly together so let me go over it in detail clicks Yeah, they're pretty crisp. They use armor on 20Ms, but I may switch swap it just because I don't really like them that much. Kind of heavy. And, yeah, I may switch them out to TTC Golds or Huano Blue Dot Switches. So, whichever one is cheaper, I think they all give about the same improvements to the mouse. But, um, yeah, shit. Uh, shape is an um, ambi mouse, which um, is like is symmetrical. Uh, it works on right and left hand, but there's no side buttons on both sides, which is a good thing for most people. But if you're a lefty, then I can see why you won't like this mouse. Um, side buttons are kind of mushy. Yeah, so you kind of have to press hard for it to actually feel responsive, which is something I don't like. Placement is okay, it's just kind of mushy. Um, scroll wheel, it's alright. I mean, compared to the Viper Ultimate scroll wheel, I don't think it's bad. It does make a sound that's like, it's like kind of... It, it doesn't feel annoying, but it still makes a sound, which I don't like, compared to the uh, glorious scroll wheel, which barely makes any noise. So that's still my favorite scroll wheel. But really nothing to complain about for the scroll wheel. So, yeah. Um, sensor Logitech's Hero 25K uh, right here. It's a pretty good sensor. Um, no complaints with it. Um, I think you can get 20,000 DPI, but no one really uses that anyways. Um, the, it comes with, uh, like, uh, stock PTFE feet, but I took them off for super glides because the stock ones were out pretty fast. They just weren't very good, kind of scratchy. So yeah, I replaced them with the Pulsar Super Guides, which are my favorite feet. Have them on the Viper Ultimate and the Mono Minus Wireless. So yeah, I would highly recommend them. Um, you can also get Core Pads, Tiger Eyes, Tiger Arc, Hyper Guides, whichever one you want. And does come in like this. Does have this? Um, I don't. Know, it's like a shell thingy, which you can just plop on here. And then it's like convenient because you can store the USB in here. Uh, there's one which comes with the PTFE puck, and there's one which uh, it's just like this little logo right here that says G. Pretty cool as well. Um, the G one, the one without the PTFE on it, is lighter. But of course, I swapped the PTFE out with um, the glass skates, so. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I usually use it just without any because it adds a little bit lighter. It's a little bit lighter without it. So, yeah. It is micro USB, so I can see why some people don't like that. Let me show you the charger. Uh, here is the charger right here. Um, let me get it closer to the camera. So it's a little USB, micro USB, so it's not USB-C, which uh, I don't really think matters that much, 
but yeah this is how it plugs in it literally takes like two hours to charge no not even that like yeah two hours to get it from like zero to 100 it's crazy and this mouse feels like it's n it never dies like let me check my battery actually i've been using it for like a week without charging so if it's still like 50 percent above then I'm, this is like the best battery yeah 43 percent pretty awesome so yeah highly would recommend this mouse um i would just recommend to swap out the skates um yeah and if you're looking for like a mouse that will be your end game highly in recommend this mouse um it's 160 dollars which i know is pretty steep but i think it's worth it um subscribe and like for another review